Welcome to MobiTrack LTE B Plus Basic and Intermediate Training. This is a training program that SCW Eurodrive is offering on its YouTube channel, and it's designed to get you up to speed in the MobiTrack LTE B Plus line of variable frequency drives. My name is Don Congdon. I'll be your instructor. I'm a corporate trainer at SCW Eurodrive at our Lyman, South Carolina headquarters. Now, perhaps you're wondering something very basic. What is MoviTrack LTE B+. Well, there's a very simple answer to that. It's one of two families of entry-level variable frequency drives. If that's a new term to you, a variable frequency drive is an electronic motor controller. It controls a motor's speed and sometimes other things such as its torque or even its position. This is the LTE B plus line. You can see there's a fairly large number of sizes available, and it's available in two styles. We'll talk about those a little later. The other family that's part of this group of VFDs is the MoviTrack LTP B. As you can see, it comes in some larger sizes and one additional style. VFDs from either of these families are excellent choices for many basic applications that require motor control. We're not going to be talking about the LTP line in this training, but there is going to be a second training which may be available by the time you watch this video. All right, before we go any further, I'd like to clarify some terminology. Variable frequency drive, VFD, and inverter are all equivalent terms in this class. They mean exactly the same thing, and I'll be using them interchangeably. Something else I need to clarify as well. MoviTrack LTE B is actually available in two models, the Plain B and the B. The B model is recently discontinued, but there are an awful lot of them out there. The B model is a slightly improved version. Now, as you can see, they look very similar. In fact, they're really somewhat hard to tell apart except for the labels. They have essentially the same features. The B plus comes in a few more sizes and has a few improvements and extra features, but for all intents and purposes, they really are almost the same VFD. I'm going to be basing this class around the B plus since that's our current model, but be aware that almost everything I teach you applies equally to the plain B model. When there is a difference, I will point it out, but otherwise you can pretty much assume that what you're learning is going to work with either of these. So if you've just bought an LTE B+, this class will get you up to speed in it. And if you're supporting older, but still quite valid LTE Bs, everything you learn will be pretty much helpful as well. Perhaps you're wondering, who is this class for? What is my intended audience? Well, the answer is absolutely everybody. Whether you're a complete beginner or whether you're experienced with VFDs, I think you'll find this class extremely useful. It's also for both SEW Eurodrive employees and our customers. It doesn't matter who you are, this class has something for you. So that out of the way, let's talk about what you're going to learn in this class, what knowledge and skills I'm going to equip you with. We're going to start by talking about how VFDs control motors. If you really are new to VFDs and don't really know what they do and how they do it, we'll get you up to speed in just a few minutes. Then we're going to talk about the MobiTrack LTE B Plus models and their nomenclature. Nomenclature is the SCW Eurodrive codes that identify a product's features. I'll teach you how to interpret this. You'll find the nomenclature on a sticker on the VFD. I'll talk about the VFD's electrical and control connections so you'll know how to wire one up to power the motor and to its control system. We'll talk about the VFD's control and communications modes. You'll learn what kind of motors it can operate, how it's controlled, and how it communicates. You'll recognize common accessories. MoviTrack LTE B Plus does have a number of these available that can expand its capabilities. Then we'll talk about how to do a quick motor startup using just the built-in keypad. And as you'll see, it's a quick and painless task. We'll control the VFD using just the keypad, showing how it's a wonderful choice when you need to do just simple shaft spinning applications. We'll work with the basic parameters in the MoviTrack LTE B+. You only have to deal with 14 parameters to do basic setup. 
We'll show you how you can do this with just the keypad in just a few minutes. But then we're going to show you that the LTE B Plus is actually a very powerful VFD. We're going to switch to what's called the extended parameter mode, where you'll have access to 116 parameters. These allow you to customize the MobiTrack LTE B Plus for more sophisticated applications. You'll see that although this is an entry-level VFD, it is by no means low in capabilities and sophistication. We'll then explore some ways to control the VFD beyond the keypad. We'll look at things like binary control mode and we'll discuss field bus control. I'll show you how to interpret status and fault codes that appear on the VFD's display and how to deal with those. Then we're going to see how to connect to the VFD with a PC and we're going to use a program called LT Shell to do more sophisticated tasks. This is a free program that you can download from SEW Eurodrive's website and you can use it to set parameters on your VFD, do diagnostics and many other things. We'll go into those as we go along. I'll show you how to customize the VFD for some specific tasks. I'll show you how to backup and restore parameter sets. And then we'll look at a built-in tool of LT Shell called the Scope, which can be used both to monitor the VFD and to troubleshoot it when things go wrong. And then finally, we'll cap off this class by talking about field bus control. MobiTrack LTE B Plus does have basic field bus capabilities. We'll talk about how you can use those if you wish to control your VFD with a PLC or other industrial controller and access more sophisticated applications. Now, before taking this class, you're going to need a few things if you wish to follow along with me. I'll be doing some hands-on activities. One of the things you're going to need if you wish to follow along with them is a demo unit or trainer. I've got a picture here of my demo unit. This is a rather nice demo unit because it runs on ordinary 115 volts AC, so I can plug it into any ordinary outlet. It has a small motor attached to it, and it's mounted on a frame rather nicely. If you can get your hands on one of these, this is a great way to do the hands-on activities. If not, however, you can easily set up your own demo unit. You only need a few things. You will need a MovieTrack LTE B+. While it is possible to make do with a MovieTrack LTE B, there are certain activities you won't be able to do, so try to get an LTE B+, if you can. You'll need a small asynchronous motor to control. You'll need a computer loaded with the LT Shell program, and I'll show you where you can download that in just a minute. You'll need either the USM21A or USB11A USB adapter. And then you'll need what's called Cable Set C, which allows you to connect the MobiTrack LTE B or B Plus to the USM21A or USB11A USB adapter. This is what you need to connect your VFD to a PC. And then finally, you'll need some switches and a potentiometer. Now I have this little nifty circuit board that has three switches and a small potentiometer on it. It connects right up to the I.O. connector on the front of the Movi track. These used to be sold as a training tool. I don't think they're available anymore. But you can use just some ordinary switches and a potentiometer just as well. You need three single pole, single throat switches and a potentiometer with a resistance of 1K to 10K. And you can wire that up just with some wires to the front I.O. connector. And that's all you'll need to exercise your MobiTrack. Now, where can you download LT Shell? Easy. Go to scweurodrive.com, pick products, then pick software. Startup and Engineering, and Engineering Software LT Shell. And if that's too much work, I've included a link with the video in the description. Let me also take this time to mention where you can find documentation. Again, you can get this at scweurodrive.com, and I've included links in the description below. There are two separate manuals here, one for the original LTE B model and one for the B+. So you'll need to download the one that applies to your VFD. They are very similar, but there are a few differences. Let me also point something else out, a handy tip. You're going to see some things marked in red as we go through this class's material. These are like vocabulary terms. They're important things that you should be aware of. So keep your eye out for red terms. I'll call your attention to them. These are things that tell you concepts that are really crucial as you go along. Now, one warning, 
The equipment we're working with is definitely not a toy. We are working with sophisticated industrial equipment, and it does operate on fairly high voltages sometimes. Some models of the Movitrack LTE B Plus operate on almost 500 volts AC, and some of the connectors have up to 900 volts DC on them. These voltages are serious. They can kill you, they can injure you, they can burn you. So be safe. I recommend that you have a cutoff switch of some kind on your VFD so it can be switched off quickly. If you follow just standard electrical safety, you should be just fine, but you have been warned. If you have questions as you take this class or after you've completed it, you are welcome to contact the SEW Eurodrive training department at training at sewurodrive.com. Please include MobyTrack LTE class in the subject line so the email goes to the right person. Feel free to use this whether you're an SEW employee or a customer. We are glad to help you with this class. Now that said, let me just give you a little caveat here. The training department is not a technical support department, so we can't provide troubleshooting or assistance with your specific applications. We can only answer questions related to this class. If you do have application needs or troubleshooting issues, contact your local SEW Eurodrive representative for help. That might be your local regional engineering department, it might be your district sales manager, or your distributor. And that is the introduction. So in our next session, session number one, we'll dive in and start looking at the basic things surrounding the MobyTrack LTE B+. See you then.